Hey guys, this is Erkin from HDD Recovery Services. Uh, I get asked this question very often. Is like, do you just uh, work on your table when you're working on hard drives? And the answer is no. I work in a laminar flow cabinet, as you can see, like that stuff up there uh, that's making all that noise sometimes in the background is uh, the uh, HEPA filtration system that blows purified air into uh, this enclosure box here that where the work area is so nothing really supposed to fall down on the hard drive when it's opened up so I highly recommend not to open up hard drives for experiments to see if something is stuck especially if you hear it either clicking or spinning up it kind of like contradicts the fact that it could be stuck so um, yeah do yourself a favor and uh, give your data a second chance uh, but yeah these are the switches turn on and off for the box and I have my uh, workstation with some imaging tool inside just to uh, uh, check things out quickly today I'll be working on uh, this four terabyte hard drive that came from far far away and I'll be using this four terabyte to drive as a donor currently uh, this unit uh, does have working heads but they work really really slow uh, even after removing the original slow response. The drive came in with heads being stuck on the disk surface but since uh, this is a fat stack hard drive is what I call them uh, this unit has eight heads so I guess uh, the force that they were holding uh, the disks with was um, more than the drive could handle and now uh, heads are on their last breath so to speak it will take forever to image it out and images with such big gaps that all of the data will most likely just end up being trash unless we put fresh set of heads in it that is powerful enough to uh, do the deed so without any hesitation uh, let's jump into this project and get it done do you know Another uh, very important thing somebody just asked me recently is like what kind of duster do you use? I use MG Chemicals Super Duster 134. It's a um, high capacity can. It lasts a pretty good amount, but it's not about how it lasts. It's about the pressure that it puts out and the cleanness of the air that is in there. There's zero residue. Like the stuff that you're gonna get from uh, Staples and Business Depot for like spraying your uh, keyboards and stuff. That stuff is garbage. For data recovery, do not use them. Um, like I, I see, uh, the other day I went to Costco and I saw like there was like a, a six pack of them called something like, um, I can't remember the name, but whatever. It was, it's been sold there. And um, I've had, I've once ran out of all my uh, super dusters and we actually have staples right next door from uh, my shop so I had to pick up something for spraying uh, drives off before they're sealed and damn that first of all the airflow is so weak you might as well just 
breathe on your drive through like some kind of filter <laughs> and um, I was not 100% conv convinced that it was uh, uh, zero residue as well so yeah I don't recommend using that kind of compressed air if you guys are new to data recovery and you think that this is not a big um, thing that affects uh, the outcome try some good compressed air like MG chemicals and you, I, I assure you you're never gonna go back to anything else um, the uh, the pressure that it puts out is perfect like I wouldn't want it to be more and I wouldn't want it to be less and it's almost true all the way until it's like fully out like I'm getting close to be out on this can but it lasts a while it doesn't like overrun that you have still half of the um, liquid inside and then there's no pressure anymore it's pressurized really well I, I'll be honest like I, I'm a big fan of MG chemical products and pretty much everything I use from my flux paste to my soldering paste to uh, um, uh, uh, alcohol cleaners uh, dusting everything all the pretty much all the consumables uh, wick for uh, soldering is all made by MG Chemicals. They're made here in Canada, in Ontario, in the same province as where we work. Uh, and I'm extremely proud that that brand is so close and it puts out extremely good quality products. So if you're not 100% sure on your consumables in the lab, you should definitely check out your supplier for MG Chemical products. Using just one hand is much more challenging. <laughs> okay, it's connected now. So there's the uh, task initialization. It's just going to request to work with copy only in this mode. Uh, that way, uh, it's not going to bother the patient drive when the task is being loaded. Uh, as you can see, I was already working with this drive a little bit, but just to give you a, a, a quick idea of what kind of results I was getting with the original headset, is this is a perfect example. Um, it's really bad results. <laughs> what else can I say? Like, if I image the whole drive like this, it would be just as good as not having anything imaged at all because. The gaps that uh, yellow blocks make up and red blocks make up, comparing to what is green, um, it's, a, it's a day and night difference. Now that our drive has new heads in it, let's see uh, what it's capable of. Um, right now it's spinning up. As you can see, it comes ready, all good. Auto detection works. Picks up Marvel Family. That's what we want to see. And let's see. Auto detect. It should be spyglass. And it is spyglass. Enter the utility. Um, let's quickly check the reading ability by going into sector edit. And it can read. And this is not an encrypted drive, as you can see. All this stuff is if it's readable, that means there is no encryption. Go back to the task, and let's just say we wanted to um, explore uh, the structure right away. What if we wanted to do that? What would the drive tell us then? Um, let's go refresh, fold. So it's got an NTFS partition, which is great. Uh, let's do refresh again. No, it's probably in here, this section. Yeah, it doesn't have an X, uh, it has an XFAT partition. Um, so that's not great because XFAT partition doesn't have like a, a catalog file that we could scan first and explore. And from what I recall uh, talking to the client, the drive is pretty much full. So let's get out of here and uh, let's just go back and let's say we're gonna start with the 
clean slate, right? So we're going to build uh, a, a sub map of all the sectors that are white, black, red, and yellow. Black, red, and yellow means that they are not red um, because of uh, either skips or errors. Uh, but white means that they have not been attempted to be red yet. And if I wanted to start the clean s with a clean slate, I would want to erase all of the um, uh, skipped and unread blocks, uh, unread blocks with errors. Uh, that can be done with clear map of selected chains, not clear chains, but clear map of selected chains. And it's only going to select these three, which is what we want to do. Now, uh, our map doesn't know that there are any bad sectors in it. And uh, the advantage that it's going to give us, it's not going to uh, skip through uh, the timeout um, blocks and errored out blocks. That way, we can easily detect uh, whether or not the performance had changed um, with the um, with our head change or with, with our head swap or, or it remains the same. So let's go into scan chains and it's going to ask us oh, I won't and you can see that it's ramping up pretty good like this is a pretty good speed that is pushing 103 megabytes per second hell yeah this is what we want to see this is the kind of stuff guys that um, shows that um, you know the procedure went well heads improved their ability to read and when we're reading for like now for like well, I don't know what 20 30 seconds and this the speed remains uh, consistent almost like it drops down on some heads I can see drops down to about 80 megabytes per second but that's fine uh, because that headset originally might have had some minor degradation on those two heads and that's why it's slowing down like that but the, if, if, even at 80 megabytes per second with that kind of speed it's it's gonna blaze through this thing with no problems so I don't know really if there's anything else uh, that I can add to this video other than it's going really, really well in about 10 and a half hours. I should be wrapping up with the image. Yeah, hopefully it's, it, makes it, it makes its way all the way to the, to the end. So far it's been running for what, like six minutes? Performance is the same, 100 megabytes per second, which is super good. Uh, so yeah guys, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're new here and you're interested in data recovery. And as always, guys, don't forget to smash that like button lots, lots, lots of times. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next episode.